If you're looking for the highest interest rates possible for your savings, then you've come to the right place because this is my regular update. This is for March 2021 of all the top paying accounts out there for your cash savings. I'll take you through what those ones are, regular savers, easy access, whatever it might be. And I will also update you a little bit on some of the latest savings news, accounts which are no longer as good as they were. I'm Andy Webb, thank you so much for watching. I also wanna to say to you that any of the accounts I talk about right now, there's a good chance that some of them won't be available by the time you watch this, particularly if you're watching it later in the month. So make sure you check out the article I've got over on my blog, becleverwithyourcash.com. I'll link to it up here and in the notes below because that means I can change it on a daily basis whenever something, a new account comes along offering more money or if something disappears and there's another best buy in its place that is where you'll find all that up-to-date information and the link so you can go through and apply really quickly so don't forget to do that as well well let's start off with some savings news the main thing i want to tell you about is if you have opened up or are thinking of opening up a virgin money current account now i've spoken about this before in the past because as i'll get to in a minute it is a really good account and it remains a really good account for the first 1000 pounds that you have saved it's also a really good current account to look at if you're switching for bonuses, but I'll talk about more about that in my bank switching update, which will be out next week. Um, but when you open this account, or if you've already got one, haven't got one yet, you also get access to an easy access savings account with no limit on how much you can save on there realistically, and a 0.5% interest rate, which although when it first started wasn't amazing, over the last sort of six weeks or so, it's been one of the best accounts out there for your money. Sadly, that is going to drop on April the 27th, 2021. That's going to drop to 0.35%. So that's a 0.15% drop in how much your money will earn over the year. And it's a variable rate, so who knows, it could drop again in the future. So why is this important? Well, if you're thinking of getting that account for that, you might be disappointed. You might already have money in there. What do you then do? Do you can go and chase the next best paying account? In fact, there are accounts, as I'll get to in a minute, paying 0.5% still. Do you do that? Do you bother moving your money? The problem you have with this is with rates being so low and those kind of cuts being relatively minimal, okay, 0.15% isn't a huge amount of money. If you move it to another account, you're not necessarily gonna make a huge amount more. And you're also at a risk if it's moving to another variable account, which most of them are, that they'll drop it again. So you've gotta really sort of weigh up the time and effort versus the rewards you get. If you've only got a few hundred quid, a few thousand quid, Maybe it's not worth it. Just for now, let it sit there for a bit and see how it goes. Yes, it's not very good, 0.35%, but 0.5%, your next best bet, isn't too much better. So I just wanna let you know that so you've got a heads up and think about it. I'll obviously give you an update when we come around to the end of April, beginning of May, exactly what opportunities are there out there. It might be that other accounts have all sort of, you know, joined in with that race to the bottom and they've cut their rates down and 0.35%, isn't too bad when it comes to it when we get actually to the end of April, but it's worth knowing about that. I'll come back to the, the Virgin account in a minute though, because it is still one of the best buys for uh, the first thousand pounds that you have. And while we're talking about the interest rates being quite low, uh, it's also important that I share with you the inflation rate. The most recent one we have, which was for January 2021, inflation went up a little bit to 0.7%. Now, ideally, you wanna be getting your savings accounts, the interest you have on your savings accounts to be beating inflation because if it's at least level with it, you're keeping up with it, and if it's beating it, then you are actually making money. If the interest you're getting is below inflation, then in real terms, your money is worth less, okay? Which is quite frustrating. And if our accounts are going down like this and inflation potentially is going up, uh, then we could well see a situation where it's very, very hard to do that. That doesn't mean you shouldn't bother with cash savings at all. It's really important to have easy access savings available to you in the event of emergency. It should be before anything else you do with your savings. Before you think about investing, before you think about overpaying the mortgage, whatever it is, you want to make sure you've got at least some buffer available to you. And that really needs to be in cash at the best interest rate it can be. If that is below inflation uh, and there's no options above inflation, there's, there isn't really anything you can do. But the idea is to get as high a rate as you possibly can. Well, there you go. That's a savings update for March 2021. Let's get into the best accounts, the ones that are going to earn you the most money. Once again, the highest rate is still with that NatWest and RBS regular saver, 3.04%, but that's only on 50 quid a month. And you have to have a NatWest or RBS account already to have that. I personally wouldn't go out of my way to open up one of those current accounts with those banks in order to get this. But if you already have a bank, you already bank with them, then there's no harm getting it. Put 50 quid away every month, earn that interest. But it's not going to be a huge amount of money we're talking here. 
The next best account for you is that Virgin Money one I mentioned before. Although that linked easy access saver, the rate is dropping, the main £1,000 uh, capacity on the current account, that is remaining at 2.02%. It's variable, so it could change in the future, but at the moment they haven't said anything about that. Got £1,000, you have that account, you have it sitting there nicely to the side. I wouldn't use it necessarily for anything else. So maybe switch into it to get the free wine, but have that money in there earning that decent interest because it's going to be difficult to beat that. There is also the Nationwide Flex Direct account. But as I've said before, I think this one is probably best to wait because you can only ever get this account or the promotion that comes with the first year of this account once. What they're offering right now is better than you'll get elsewhere, but it's nowhere near what was offered in the past and potentially will be nowhere near what they offer in the future. So I personally would just hold off and wait and see how things go. But if you absolutely do want to make sure you get that fixed 2% for a year on a grand and a half, then that is an option for you. The other current account that I would consider for interest is the Club Lloyds account. Now that offers an all right amount of money right now, 0.6% on anything up to £4,000, then 1.5% on anything between £4,000 and £5,000. If you had five grand in there, it works out at 0.78%, which actually is a lot better than you're going to get in most other places. But what I also like about this one is it gives you access to another regular saver, but one where you can put more money in every single month. I think it's £400 you can pay into this. So much better than that 50 quid with NatWest. But you do get 1.5%, so you get a lower rate. But that fixed for 12 months, essentially, up to £400 you can pay in every single month. Uh, that's a nice one right now, probably your best bet for regular savers. There are others, again, details of all of this over on the blog. There's also the Chip Plus One account. I've spoken about that in detail before, so I won't go into all of that information right now. Make sure you read my review. This offers 1.25% on up to £5,000 of savings. However, I would only use it for up to £2,000 because anything above that then you have to pay a monthly fee, which writes off a lot of the interest you'll earn. But again, check out the review over on the blog, which we'll be linked to below with more information. Let's quickly move on to fixes. There aren't too many fantastic fixed rate ones. Looking at one year, our IAM bank, 0.65%, still your best bet. It's um, not interest because it's a Sharia uh, Islamic bank, so you get an expected rate of return, but you're going to get 0.65% on your investment in your savings in that account. And there's also a notice account with Moneybox. This is offering 0.6% of a 95 day notice. So it's a much shorter period of time uh, where you're potentially locked in to getting that. Now that is a variable rate, however. So if they do drop the rate, uh, then you obviously aren't guaranteed for that amount of time. But if they do change it, if it does go down, you can take your money out without that notice. So at least gives you a little bit more money. Let's get on to those easy access accounts. And we have seen the return of Marcus. This is one that was market leading for a good last couple of years, offering still not fantastic rates, but one and a half percent at one point, kept getting dropped and dropped and dropped until they closed it to new customers at some point last year. Now in the last few weeks, opened up again for newbies, you get 0.5%. Uh, I think you can invest with just, well, you can save from just one pound. So it's a good option once you've looked at the Virgin money and you've looked at the regular savers and things like that. That is not a bad shout for you. And I'm talking about ISAs before, you can also get 0.5% in an easy access cash ISA, which allows transfers in with Synergy Bank. So again, that's a really good one to think about. If you have used up your personal allowances elsewhere, or if you really want to protect your money in that ISA wrapper, or if you want to transfer money across. I'm not going to go into detail this time on the kids savings accounts because there haven't been any changes since my video a few weeks ago. Check that out if you are interested in getting up to 3.5% in interest on savings for your children. And ethical or bank accounts, again, just want to give you a quick shout out there. Our I Am Bank, which you talked about for fixes, is a very good one, as is Nationwide, that Flex Direct account. Uh, your money with those institutions, you can be assured that it's not being used for things like uh, arms trade or fossil fuels and funding any of those kind of institutions which you might uh, fundamentally disagree with. Now there is one more place that you might want to think about for your savings and that is premium bonds but if you want to find out more about those make sure you hit subscribe to my channel that little notification bell because I'll be sharing in the next few weeks a video all about those explaining not just how they work the chances of you winning because there is a chance you won't win anything at all but also how my premium bonds have gone the first time I've ever had them in my life I've got an account, put some money in at the end of January, the first draw, March the 1st. So that would say if I win anything at all, I'll share with you exactly what it is. Subscribe so you don't miss it. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. If you think this has saved you some money or helped you with your savings, please hit the like button or comment below exactly what you're doing with your savings, what your questions are.
And here are a couple more videos you might find interesting.